Okay, so I'm just going to give you some tips on how to now use your gridded photograph um, as a guide to drawing up your still life on your canvas. So you should have your numbered photograph or rather numbered photocopy, numbered and lettered, one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, E, and you should have done the same to your canvas. So I've numbered those and I've put letters up the top which you probably can't see, uh, but they're there. Now, I've drawn my lemon in just to show you uh, what it looks like. So my lemon sits on the 3-4 line, okay, 3-4, but it also starts about, uh, I'd say, a quarter of the way on that line. So I've started at a quarter, so a little bit of maths here, a little bit of proportion, so a quarter, and it ends exactly here, okay? Ends exactly on that crossbar, and I've done that here, so I've ended it there. And then I sort of work out the height as well. So this is where you just need to use your sort of artistic eye. So this lemon's about sort of about a fifth of this height. Again, the fifth down the bottom, and I've just drawn some lines and then I've kind of drawn the lemon in. I'm going to show you um, how to draw something a bit more complex like this sort of bangle holder that I've got here. Um, so, and then I'll let you start your own. So this starts up here. It starts about halfway through um, box 1B. So there's uh, box 1B. And I might just uh, get a bit closer there. All right, and I've already started drawing it. But what I'm going to do is rather than draw detail, I'm just going to draw this basic shape. And I'm going to worry about detail later. I just want to get the shapes in. So I, that's why I've actually started with something complicated. Because I just want to show you that if you've got a complicated um, object to draw, just draw the outline. Don't worry about drawing every single detail. So you can see that it starts halfway through this box, right? 1B, box 1B. And it sort of falls on a slight diagonal through box 2B. So I've already done that slight diagonal there. And it just continues all the way to about this line here, which is line three, four B. So just all the way, same angle, three, four B. I'm not drawing every single bangle, I'll do that later. Okay, um, and then we're just going to draw the rest of it in, which is this here. So it sort of, there's a little thing here. And then the bangles actually go onto box C. Okay, so like that, I, I'll start it off and um, actually it's, yeah, the bangles are kind of, they're going on a sort of an angle, but not, they're not all evenly lined up. So I'm just going to draw a rough, a rough guideline, that's all. And I'm going to worry about drawing those, you know, those bangles in later because I, I don't want to sort of, I want to get all my basic shapes in. It's just so much easier and then you can add detail later. So that's basically where the bangles are sitting. And um, yeah, the next thing I would do, and I'm, I probably won't put this on the video, but next thing I'd do is the perfume bottle. Okay, so look at the perfume bottle. It sits about a third of the way on line 3, 4B. So a third of the way per perfume bottle starts here. So it starts about... Actually, that's wrong. That should sit there and my perfume bottle starts there. So you can see this is why it's important to draw really lightly. You will need an eraser. Okay, so you can rub out your mistakes. Don't, don't draw too firmly. You can see, yeah, and that's where my perfume bottle's going to sit. Um, this is where your sort of drawing skills come in handy now, those drawing skills that we worked on in term two, um, you know, getting things 
making a sort of a rectangle look or rather a rectangular prism look like a rectangular prism it's basically a box and so on and so forth so draw you know the rough outlines of everything in your image and then you can start putting a little bit of detail but don't forget you're going to be painting this so detail is something that you can add um, after you've painted the sort of the undercoat so don't worry too much about detail just get your basic shapes in at this stage and another thing I wanted to point out is because I'm right-handed I'm starting I'm going from left to right because I don't want to smudge my drawing and make a really grubby sort of mess of my can white canvas so if you're left-handed then you'd probably start from right to left it's just a way of um, keeping your canvas a bit sort of fresh and clean Okay, so yeah, give that a go. Just the outlines, guys. Um, the only other thing I would probably do is put my bangles in, but I'll do that. I'll do that later once I've filled the whole, the whole uh, canvas with all my basic shapes. So that is how you transfer your scaled um, drawing. Sorry, your scaled uh, printout of your photo onto your canvas. Great, so give that a go. Thanks.